Hey, welcome to a new project camp update. It's early in the morning, sun is rising, and uh, today is gonna be a very special big day. Yeah. So we basically bought this big piece of land and are prototyping a more sustainable way of living. Not sure how it's gonna go, but let's see. And you might have seen on our other channel that we converted two shipping containers to drop here. One has the workspace and one the town center with kitchen and shower and stuff. And in the previous update, you could see us trying to get the containers here. So first they've been dropped very sketchy in Portugal. Uh, but then we had to wait for the roads to be clean and the weather to be good. So the containers could actually be dropped here and it's not too muddy and soggy and there's enough space. And today, finally, that moment came. So today the containers are arriving, ground is cleared and they're gonna be dropped right there. We've been waiting for this for weeks, months, for this day to happen. Uh, so yeah, exciting day. So today is a big day. Yeah. <laughs> happening Woo. so they're coming with two trucks because the truck from the guy can only lift up to five tons and this container is 5.7 tons so we ask his friend to help out So one stupid thing, I forgot the key, uh, it's in my jacket which I left at a friend's place in Porto, so I cannot open it now, so we have to level it with this tiny thing which I had here, because all our tools are in here, so I can't access it. Okay. So first the containers lifted up and then it made a 180 degree turn so the door was facing the right side and then it just went down. It had to go back up and down a few times for leveling but that's kind of it. The whole thing took about 20 to 30 minutes. So first container uh, sat down, it was actually super smooth and next is going to be the kitchen. Kind of a big deal, waited long for this moment, uh, so a lot of tension coming out. And today is also Saturday, which means the little local shop in town sells pastelnata in the weekend. So it seems like a perfect time for a little celebration.
so I just fell off my uh, bike I was filming and going downhill using the front brake front flap thing oh yeah lesson learned don't uh, don't cycle and film when you go downhill still time to celebrate though <sighs> Uh, yeah, so now it's time to uh, open them up. Always a bit scary after such a long journey to see how everything is inside. Uh, warning though, we also didn't really pack it super nicely as in we put everything on the floor. So it probably looks a bit messy, but let's see. is my birthday. Looking good. So it looks like everything is still uh, pretty good. Shower still alive. Bulk food is there. The blankets didn't even fall out during the journey. Here we have crates with a lot of uh, stuff from kitchen, cutting boards, uh, yeah, whatever, brushes. Here we have a massive big table uh, from a bowling track we don't really need it this big <laughs> we don't even have that many people around here and we don't have an outside space to put it like covered for the rain but we didn't want to throw it away or sell it back home so we just brought it for the future uh, same for this tube was a potential flagpole a big ladder a tabletop we didn't want to throw But the ceramics are still intact. Overall, everything still looks uh, very good. Like really nothing broken, nothing messed up. So time to unpack. So this table is being a bit tricky now because we put it in with six people but at the moment we don't have six people to lift it up but it's blocking all the entrances it's it sounded very logical when we put it in to have a big table but now being here it's like hmm why why would we want a big table like that <laughs> yeah let's see Yeah, so finally we managed to get it out. Now time to set up everything. But for some reason, even though it's a closed box, everything got very dusty, so perhaps for some cleaning.
So the kitchen is now all set up. I'll show the results later, because first we're gonna go to the workspace. So workspace, same story, a lot of stuff on the floor. Fresh plastic dome, all the tools are off the wall and packed around here. We added a plate there to make sure the crates don't flow out. And yeah, drill press is here on the floor. Yeah, also here's some unboxing to do. Ooh, small challenge here. I see the metal lathe uh, flipped over from the side. Wow, okay. Mm. Not sure how we're gonna do that. And during the unpacking, I noticed something strange about the things we put inside. It's only been in this container for like six months, but everything got super rusty. And this was not rust before at all. Rust. 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 So all the stuff is now out. Really cool to see the tools again. Uh, but I couldn't really take everything because some stuff is too heavy and I'm also worried the lathe might fall. So I think we first have to try to get that one straight. So the plan is to put a few straps around it and make sure it doesn't fall any further. And on top of that, I also add a few bigger ones so I can really tighten them. And hopefully this gives enough strength to put it back into its place. Hmm, yeah, it doesn't really seem like it's going back. Perhaps which I'm pushing. Uh, still not. Man, really no movement whatsoever, even though everything is super tightened. It's useless. Alright, so next, another plan. So here we have the stick from the tool I broke and a car jack to maybe push it there, I don't know. Yeah, that didn't work either. No. Okay, another option. I found uh, another car jack. And I thought I'll put it underneath and then lift it up so maybe, up, you know, easy. I think I broke the jack. Cracked here. It's a lead heavier than a car. Ah, man. So yeah, that didn't work either. I had so last attempt with two people pushing in a very harmonious way. Nah, so that didn't help. Man, it's moment like this that you really feel weak as a human without the right tools. It's kind of impressive. So next up, our neighbor offered to help us out with his tractor. He said he could just lift it up. I mean, that sounds easy. So this yellow rope attached to his tractor is connected to the bottom of the lathe. So if he drives back, he would sort of pull the whole bottom of the lathe uh, out and then straighten the whole thing out. To be honest, I got a bit worried here. As you can see, at this point, only one strap is connected. This prevents the whole lathe from falling. And that one strap is connected to this hook, which just snapped. I mean, it's almost broken.
Okay, so the machine is now flat. Still not in the right place, but the tractor couldn't go in. Uh, yeah, it went a bit rough, I would say. Also, uh, the drill is up, which is nice. But uh, in the process, the drill head broke. Kind of essential for a drill. So I'm not sure what to do. And uh, I think some stuff might be bended here. So there are some uh, damage on the wood, but that's kind of the easy one. So yeah, I think uh, some uh, damage control to do. But uh, at least it's flat now, so we can move on. So yeah, as a last step, we drove around the area to find a pallet truck to put it into the right place. I just lift it up and drive it around. And this one's so smooth. This should have been plan A. Next time. Alright, so here we are. Container is now set up again. I got a bit excited, so I forgot to film the setting up process. Um, but it also went super quick, actually, because everything has a place, so we just pop up. Um, but yeah, you might have seen this container being built in this uh, other video from our main channel. Uh, so I wouldn't show the entire container, you can look right there. But I want to show you a few things that sort of happened during this uh, transport from the Netherlands to here. So let me show you. So one of the key things is uh, all our tools are still here. Everything was packed, perfectly fine, super quick to put back up uh, because everything had a place. So this was, same goes for our, our little screw uh, markets. All still here, not a single screw fell out. Also all the crates still in perfect condition. So also that went super smooth. So yeah, during the unloading or trying to align the lathe, we broke a drill head, so we need to get a new one. Support on Patreon if you want to help us out. <laughs> and when putting the lathe here, we also cracked the wood here uh, perfectly until the drawer. So also here, uh, not really a big problem. And then our electricity box right here. Uh, there used to be a key here, no idea where that went. And a switch here to turn it on and off, but uh, no idea where those are. I looked on the floor and behind machines. I would say it should be in here. Uh, how big is it? But uh, maybe I'll find it later. But I guess, yeah, we don't really have electricity yet, so we'll figure it out later. Oh yeah, many things did get rusty for some reason, like over here. For this one it's not a problem, but also on our metal lathe, which is a bit more tricky because it's precision tool, and our drill press. So I guess, uh, yeah, we have to clean those up. But overall I would say the process went pretty good. Nothing really damaging happened and the lathe thing is kind of up to us. We could have tightened it better. Uh, the main downside was we just had to wait for quite a long time. It took a while before the roads were clean enough and that the uh, roads were not too wet from all the rain and then we need to find a person to level the lathe. So that was all a bit uh, tricky but overall uh, it still went super smooth. And the cool thing now is that in the middle of this land with just some bushes and trees we now have this super cool tool uh, box set up with all nice tools and wrenches and clamps available. So that feels really good. It feels a bit like being home again into this thing. So the workspace is now all here with all the tools inside. But I got kind of hungry of all of this. But the cool thing is now we also have a kitchen. So we can cook a proper meal and not improvising in the van. So let's have some dinner. So we're gonna cook a dinner. I'm uh, just gonna chop some vegetables and film. And uh, Gita is gonna cook. Uh, what are we gonna cook? Uh, any veggie that needs to go. <laughs> any veggie needs to go, all right.
almost ready. So it has been really cool to use the kitchen, way more space, way more instruments, way more spices. So far the only thing is that we still need to solve the water issue. We have been using this jerry can which we fill up in the village and also we don't have energy so this fridge still holds our food but without a refrigeration. So what we do, we open it in the night, fresh air comes in, during the day we close it and we keep the freshness inside. So now it's time to eat. So this kitchen isn't really made for two people. Uh, we have a lot of cutlery and a lot of uh, ceramics and a lot of bulk food. And with bulk food, I really mean bulk food. This bucket is full of cacao powder. You know the thing that usually comes in these small packages? Here is uh, 25 kilogram of it for two people. I mean, that's a lot of cacao. Kind of dangerous. So that was it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see the next updates where we're going to clean up uh, more the area around here, make sure to subscribe. And if you like what we do, make sure to visit support.projectcom.com to uh, see how you can help out. Hey, thanks for watching.